There's one more tool I'd like to go over before we really start digging into creating flow studies. It's the engineering database. I can access the engineering database by going to the flow simulation dropdown under tools and selecting the engineering database. Here in the database, you can see the library of data and information that Flow has available right out of the box. You can use the tree to navigate through the database. As you make selections, notice items appear in the main database window. If you double click an item, you can see its properties. The values for the predefined items are locked, but you might have noticed that there are user defined folders in the database tree as well. Let's add a user defined porous medium that we'll use later in the course. I'll expand the Porous Media folder, right-click on the User Defined category, and select New Folder. I'll call this folder Carburetor Air Cleaner. I'll insert a subfolder under the Carburetor Air Cleaner folder called Porous 0.95. Now, you don't need your file structure to go this deep, but I like to keep everything in the database very organized. I'll right-click on the folder and select New Item. You can edit any of these property values simply by clicking in the value column and replacing or editing the information. I'll call this item Porous Medium. For the porosity, I'll enter a value of 0.5. I'll set the permeability type to isotropic and the resistance calculation formula to Dependency on Velocity. With this setting chosen, I'm asked to enter A and B values so SOLIDWORKS can calculate the permeability. The permeability follows this formula. K equals A times the fluid velocity plus B all over the fluid density. A and B are constants and usually provided by the porous media manufacturer. I'll enter 57 kilograms per meter to the fourth for A and zero for B. I can exit the database, and I'm asked if I want to save the changes. I'll click Save, and the database is updated to contain our custom information.